it is vital to have both vaccinations to reduce your chances of becoming unwell and needing hospital treatment, the NHS stated. But how close together can you get them? In actual fact, the NHS assured that it is safe to get the COVID booster and flu vaccinations at the same time. There is a caveat, however, in that if you've had the shingles vaccine, you must wait one week before having your COVID-19 booster. Do note that COVID vaccine centers are not offering the flu vaccination. If you do have your COVID booster at a vaccination center, you will need to book your flu jab elsewhere. You can order a flu jab from pharmacies offering vaccination services, the midwifery service if you are pregnant, a hospital appointment or GP clinic. Some GP practices are offering the COVID booster and flu vaccination at the same time. Omicron variant shows indications of being more transmissible than Delta, symptoms certain people are eligible for a free NHS flu jab, such as those aged 50 and over those with certain health conditions pregnant women in long-stay residential care receive a carer's allowance, or are the main carer for an older or disabled person who may be at risk if you get sick live with someone who is more likely to get infections, such as someone who has HIV has had a transplant or is having certain treatments for cancer, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis frontline health or social care workers. Those not eligible for a free NHS flu jab can be expected to pay up to £15 for the vaccination. Why should I get the COVID booster and the flu vaccination? Getting vaccinated against flu and COVID-19 will provide protection for you and those around you for both these serious illnesses, the NHS said. Research shows that unprotected individuals who get flu and COVID at the same time are more likely to become seriously ill. Diabetes, three signs when you go to the toilet you have high blood sugar, symptoms, inside pale A health. Brazilian football legend undergoes treatment for colon tumor, warning sign, symptoms acid reflux diet, the worst drinks that aggravate the painful condition, research, flu symptoms the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, highlighted the warning signs of the flu. Flu is different from a cold, the Global Health Organization made clear. Unlike a cold, symptoms of flu come on rapidly, and symptoms might include fever feeling feverish slash chills cough sore throat runny or stuffy nose muscle or body aches headaches fatigue, tiredness vomiting diarrhea. While symptoms of the flu typically subside within two weeks, complications can occur. One such complication is pneumonia, which can be life-threatening and may result in death. More mild complications of the flu include sinus and ear infections, which can be very uncomfortable. Those most at risk of flu complications include adults aged 65 and older, and people with underlying health conditions. Risky underlying health conditions include asthma, diabetes, and heart disease. Should any of these apply to you, you are strongly advised to get the flu vaccine. If you are experiencing symptoms of the flu, but you are not sure if it could be COVID, you need to order a free PCR test. While awaiting your results, it is imperative to stay at home to make sure you are not passing on the disease. If the results are positive, you must continue to self-isolate for 10 days from the moment symptoms began. Even if the test results are negative, you need to wash your hands often, sneeze into tissues and discard immediately, and rest at home in order to help prevent the spread of the flu.